five, four, three, two, one. Thunderbirds are go. Just beautiful.
there she is. She's arrived. Move in and tie up alongside. think, Bonson? Why? I don't know. I just don't know. Could be the fuel tanks. She was petrol driven. Maybe. There's no sign of blacker. I gotta get down there. You could be trapped. And I've got to get those papers. <laughs> to work fast before the local police get out here get onto them on the radio explain things you know just enough to keep them happy i don't want that wreck touched understand right the tanks are fixed good luck bonson <laughs> look down there. Bad. It's quite a hurt in the hull. I'm going to take a look in the cabin. Test. I found Blacker. He's dead. Poor chap. No one could have survived that explosion. to it, Tasman. Blacker was shot five times. I found some cartridge cases. An unusual type, too. There can't be more than a dozen guns of this caliber in this part of the world. Maybe it'll give us a lead to the murderer. That's not our problem. All we've got to find is those papers. And then our job's finished. Too late. The papers have gone. That explosion was no accident. You better hurry along with that test, Brains. Alan will be out for his swim soon. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Uh, his presence in the water would upset the, the sonic beam. Gee, I'm sorry, Brains. Guess I didn't realize you were working. Oh, just conducting a, a little experiment. Poor Brains, he is upset. Hold it a minute. It's John calling in from the space station. Yes, John, what new? I've had an emergency call from a guy named Bonson. It's uh, kind of unusual. I don't know what to make of it. Okay, let's have the details, John. Well. This fellow has uh, got something to do with the British Secret Service. Now, hold on, John. The British Secret Service has its own operators and methods. Why do they need us? Well, that's the whole point. Bonson says if we don't help, the entire world could be destroyed. That's quite a statement. 
Okay. Give me the details where we can reach this guy. Then tell him we'll send one of our agents to contact him. Ladies and gentlemen, we are approaching Nice Airport. I hope you have all had a pleasant flight and hope that we will travel together again soon. Now, will you please extinguish your cigarettes and fasten your seatbelts for landing? for meeting me at the airport, Parker. Is the yacht ready? Oh, yes, lady. I hankered her off the Spanish coast. She will not be seen until you give the word. Excellent. Now I must make a telecall. rescue agent. Now this is what you must do. At midnight you will drive to the forest of Dean. You will come to a clearing three kilometers within the perimeter. There you will wait. How will I know you? You never will, Mr. Bonson. Now please repeat your instructions. Ah, uh, just a minute. I need more to go on than that. How do I know I can trust you? You don't, Mr. Bonson. It was you who asked us for help, remember? Now, if you prefer it, we'll forget the whole thing. No, no, wait. Uh, I'm sorry, but in my job, I have to be careful. So do I, Mr. Bonson. So do I. Now, please repeat the instructions I gave you. All right. And to drive to the Dean Forest at midnight and wait in the clearing. Dear me, you are impatient, Mr. Bonson. Switch off the engine. Move a muscle and I'll blow off your head. Do not turn around. Remain exactly as you are and tell me why you need international rescue. Well, I'd, I'd better start at the beginning. Fellow British agent collected plans of a nuclear device from a scientist living in... Well, for security reasons, I can't say where. But the plans were vital. If they fell into the wrong hands, the whole world could be in danger. And that is precisely what has happened, am I right? Yes. I was to rendezvous with my colleague aboard his pleasure yacht. It was a good cover. The vessel was destroyed before I could reach him. And there was no trace of the plans? That's right. The yacht had been sabotaged. My colleague was murdered before the explosion. I see. And how was your friend killed? He was shot five times by a Henretta 45 Supermatic. Hmm. Not a very common weapon to use. Please go on. Well, that's it. We've got to get those plans back. You realize, of course, it is not International Rescue's policy to involve itself in politics or police work. Yes, I know. But you have the most advanced equipment in the world. The lives of millions depend on... Careful, Mr. Bunsen. Remember to keep your head. You won't if you move again. I'm, I'm sorry. But you must help. Those plans must be recovered swiftly. You are our only hope. I am leaving you now. Do nothing, say nothing. I shall contact you. Now, remain as you are for ten minutes, then return to your hotel. The lady said, don't move. Which 
to be lady. To the yacht, Parker. And by the way, that was excellent shooting. <laughs> Lady. Thank you, Parker. Oh, yes. When we drop anchor, I want you to go ashore and contact the local newspaper offices. Belide? You are to tell them that Gail Williams, the leading fashion model, has arrived on her yacht. Make certain they print that Miss Williams is going to expose the murderers and saboteurs who destroyed that vessel yesterday. Uh, may I ask who Miss Gail Williams is, Belide? How silly of me. Didn't I tell you? I am Gail Williams. One lump of sugar today, Parker. So, she is going to track us down, is she? Well, we'll see about that. getting me down. Take it easy. The authorities have got this place bottled up since we blew that yacht. I know. But how are we going to get past these patrol boats that are combing the area? Taro will figure a way. Ah, here he is now. What's new, Carl? That is. Well, what's it say, Carl? You know we don't understand the French lingo. Some dame is onto us. She says she's going to track us down. Who is she? Says in the paper she's a fashion model. Is that all? What are we worrying about? She just ain't in our league. Not so fast, Rita. That news report tells exactly how many shots were fired, what kind of gun, stuff like that. Carl, this is serious. So is what we're going to do to Miss Clever Gail Williams tonight. She's going to die. Uh, you rang, lady? Yes, Parker. I'm expecting a visitor soon. You may have the evening off. But, lady, after that newspaper story, is that wise? I said you were excused, Parker. You will go ashore and enjoy yourself. Understand? Well, but the Carlo ain't far from here. A night out could be very profitable. That's settled then. Well, enjoy yourself, Parker. Yes, lady. Go ahead. 
ahead, Penny. Good evening, Jeff. Everything has been arranged. If my bait has been taken, I think the plans will be in our hands before midnight. Now, about your arrangements, as you call them. You won't do anything dangerous, will you? Stop worrying about me, Jeff Tracy. Just be ready for my call. Okay, we'll be waiting. But please be careful, Penny. Dear Jeff, I'll be perfectly all right. <laughs> Will I be off then, Pilati? Very well, Parker. Oh, just one moment. What have you in that case? I? Oh, case? Oh, uh, oh, you mean, uh, oh, this one, uh, Pilati? Yes, that one. Oh, well, I, uh, I thought I'd take it, you know, just in case. I won. The casino. You know, so we had to put all that money. Oh, now I wonder how they got in there. Parker? Yes, my lady. What she is. Oh, she expects me to keep my hand in that dirt now. Oh, well. I suppose I'll have to go to the casino half to more. Hmm. I think everything's ready for my guest. Yes, Parker's cleared his bits and pieces away before he left. Uh huh. I think I hear a bird coming. Fish has taken the bait sooner than I expected. Good evening. Do come in. So nice to have visitors. Huh? Oh. Yeah. Now get this, lady. This gun is loaded, and I don't mind using it, see? Come on, you. You're going for a little boat ride. Oh, how nice. I'll be with you in a moment. <coughs> oh, dear. I hope you're not superstitious. That's seven years' bad luck, you know. I said move and cut the chatter. Good. I'm ready now. Will you take my arm? Hold your tongue. Just move and fast. Down the gangway to the boat and hurry it up. buildings along the coast. Hmm? Uh, they're boat houses. My, this is a deserted area. One just wouldn't know where one was, would one? Soon it ain't gonna matter to you anyway. Cruise is over. Pretty soon this little box of tricks is going to blow you sky high. How interesting. How does it work? Oh, 
It's, uh, it's real clever. We detonate it from our sub, so when you die, we're in the clear. Oh, fascinating. And I suppose the waiting is a kind of morbid pleasure for you. Not at all, lady. The delay is all part of the plan. You see, our sub is stuck at the bottom of the sea, because if we move, the patrol boats in the area will pick us up on their radar. Now, in 90 minutes' time, a patrol boat crosses this bay. At the right moment, we detonate the bomb. The patrol boat comes in shore to investigate the explosion. You die, and we will escape. I see. Oh, are you going to tie me up? You bet I am. Oh, I don't mind, really. But may I fix my face before I die? It's in such a mess. <laughs> you, you damn slay me. Always thinking about your mugs. Okay, go ahead. I got time. Yeah, an emergency code. Scott, switch the signal to my monitor. I'll take it at my desk. Okay, Dad. She's through to you. Held captive. Boathouse. Submarine. Must stop it. The bay next to yacht. Bomb. That'll do. You've prodded yourself up enough. Oh, would you mind not tying the knots too tightly, please? I'm very delicate, you know. If you don't quit gabbing, I'll gag you as well. What the heck can have happened, Father? I don't know, Scott. The picture just suddenly went wild. It looks like a section of a control panel of some kind. Yeah, and it could be the controls of a boat. Penelope indicated she was in a boathouse. She was trying to tell us something about a bomb. Well, whatever's happened, the visuals are still functioning. So presumably the sound is still on. I'm going to turn up the level. Like it, boys. Well, why don't we try to contact her then? Look, Scott, we don't know what's going on in there. The wrong person might get the message, and then Penelope would be in mortal danger for sure. Then why don't we try the code signal? That would be meaningless to someone outside of our organization. And you're right, Scott. If there's anybody in there with Penelope, they wouldn't notice anything wrong. Right. Let's use contact code five. <laughs> That noise. Noise? I can't hear anything. Yeah, tapping noise. Listen. Hold it, Father. I heard something. It's stuff. Oh, it must have been rats. Uh, these places do have them, don't they? I mean, uh, you must have some rats. Are you trying to be funny? Oh, no, no, not at all. I'm just trying to explain the noise. Uh, do you think those rats will leave the boat before the bomb goes off, or are they going to go up with it, too? Well, now we know. Penelope's trapped in a boat that's going to get blown up. What a situation. Yeah, but it's not too late. We know for sure that at least one of the murderers is still aboard. And he'll be bound to give himself time to get clear. Right. Scott, off you go. You know the location. Yes, Father. Right. 
And the way I figure it, those killers have a submarine standing by for something. So we need Thunderbird 4, Father. Yeah. Get moving, boys. Lady Penelope's in real trouble. So those machines of yours have to move faster than they've ever done before. Yes, Father. We understand. This is it. Oh, you are not leaving, are you? And I was just beginning to enjoy your company. So long, lady. You've got about an hour left. Set, Gordon? FAB. Let's go. Mr. Tracy. Father and I thought you might feel like a cup of coffee while you're waiting. Thank you, Tintin. I always think the waiting's the worst part of these operations. I saw Virgil and Gordon fly off. Yeah. I just wish we knew more clearly what they're going to find when they get out there. International rescue from Lady Penelope. Jeff. Are you receiving me? Come in, international rescue. That's funny. I could swear I heard something. From the monitor, yes. Come in, Jeff. Penny, is that you? The boys are on their way to you. Come in, Penny. Can you get any closer to the transmitter? Jeff, there's a submarine in the bay. We've got to stop them from detonating the bomb. Penny, can you get any closer? I can't hear you. All right then, Jeff. Here goes. <coughs> Mr. Tracy, what was that? I don't know. Maybe Penelope is trying to tell us something. Whatever it is that Penelope's up to, I just hope the compact transmitter can stand up to the treatment. It should do, Mr. Tracy. Uh, uh, the transistors are, are very uh, uh, small in, in Lady Penelope's compact. Uh, that accounts for the faint uh, uh, reception. But they are uh, extremely robust. I hope so, friends. She's trying to tell us something. I wish I knew what it was. Everything's fixed. Boy, could that dame talk, and was she a cool one. All we've got to do now is wait for the patrol boat to cross the bay. That gives us 40 minutes. 40 minutes, and then the boathouse, the boat, and that dame go sky high. International Rescue Base of Thunderbird 1. Loud and clear, Scott. Any more information for me, Father? Not a thing, Scott. But I think Penelope is trying to contact us. For some reason, she's not able to get near enough to the transmitter. Hello, Jeff. Can you hear me? Hold it, Scott. Come in, Penny. You're still very far off the mic, I'm afraid. Jeff, you've got to get Scott to trace the submarine. It's from there that the bomb is controlled. It's no use, Penny. I still can't make you out. You'll have to get closer. Oh, dear. This is most strenuous. Anyway, here goes. Oh, 
Come on, Penny. Come on. Father, I'll be at the danger zone in 15 minutes. All right. Just keep Thunderbird at maximum speed. FAB. Penelope, are you all right? Oh, at last, Jeff. Those killers are hiding out in their sub. They must be stopped. Where are they, Penny? Well, I don't know exactly. Anyway, they're going to detonate this bomb as soon as the local patrol boat comes into the bay at 10 o'clock and then slip away with Bonson's plans. All right, Penny. I'll tell Scott to prepare his sonar equipment. He'll soon find them wherever they are. <laughs> National Rescue from Thunderbird 1. Approaching danger zone. Time, 9.40. Okay, Scott. Proceed with sonar sounding. International rescue from Thunderbird 1. Sonar soundings operating. Reading negative. We'll widen the area of search, Scott. You've got to locate that sub. FAB. I'm going to cover the entire area in a widening circle. It's going to take time. Well, let's hope we have enough. Thunderbird 2 from Thunderbird 1. What is your estimated time of arrival? Thunderbird 1 from Thunderbird 2. 20 minutes from now. FAB. I'll try to make it sooner. Continuing search. Lady Penelope from International Rescue. Scott's trying to find the sub now. Oh, good. Virgil and Gordon are about 15 minutes away. Don't worry, Penny. We'll get you out of there. Then that patrol boat comes across the bay. And once. Up goes the boathouse, Gail Williams and all. Will it work, Carl? Suppose the patrol boat doesn't go to investigate the explosion. It'll pick us up on the radar as soon as we start our motors. Stop worrying. Those dumb cops won't be able to resist going. That bomb is powerful enough to interest anyone. Guess you're right, Carl. Of course I am. Aren't I always? International Rescue for Thunderbird 1. I've got it. She's down there. Great work, Scott. Contact Virgil. There's only seven minutes to go. Thunderbird 2 from Thunderbird 1. Submarine located. FAB. Approaching danger zone. About to launch Thunderbird 4. Great. You made good time. Okay, Gordon. Take up your position. Sure thing, Virgil. 
Thunderbird 2, for Thunderbird 1. Submarine located at Area 243, reference 19, chart 9. I'm afraid that's the best I can do. FAB, Scott. Gordon sound scan will be able to pinpoint her. How much time have we? Five minutes. Operating sound scan, Scott. Got her. Range 400 yards. Scott, I've ascertained the danger zone. Proceeding at full speed. F-8B, Gordon. Now listen. That sub has got to be paralyzed, but quick. And before the patrol boat gets into that bay, you've got four minutes. to go before that patrol boat comes along. Firing paralyzer, now! Hey, what was that? is going on. I started drilling, Scott. Thirty seconds. Twenty-five seconds, Gordon. What the? I'm through! Now the tranquilizer! Mm. Quick. The oxygen mass. Higher that. Higher that. Hetanator. The bomb must. Fire the bomb. It looks like Gordon's knocked those guys out all right, Father. The patrol boat is now in the bay, and nothing's happened. Thank heaven for that. I hope Penny's okay. I'll be able to tell you in a minute or two, Father.
you sure you're all right, Penelope? You knew those murderers would try to kill you. You sure took a chance. Well, that's what makes life interesting, Scott. The uncertainty. I just hope Gordon can find the plans all right. Hey. Yeah, I reckon this is what we came to rescue. Uh-huh. Now, it looks intact. I guess Penelope can put Mr. Bonson's mind at rest. You will leave your motor car and walk to the large tree on the edge of the clearing. Keep looking straight ahead. I think so. Well, on behalf of my chiefs, I'd like to thank you for your help. On behalf of International Rescue, I accept thanks. Now, one last warning. If you make any attempt to trace me or my organization, you will find severe opposition. I will not say further than that. Lady. Home, Parker. By the way, Parker, how did you fare at the casino? Oh, uh, I lost, my lady. Oh, dear. How much? Well, it's, it's a bit difficult. Now, come on, Parker. You can tell me. Well, it, it wasn't so much how much. It was what I lost. You know, Parker, you're being very mysterious. What did you lose? Well, you see, I got a bit carried away. I thought I had a sister. Parker, what did you lose? Uh, well, uh, your yacht, my lady. <laughs> 